controversial bill signed into one law. Now it's in the hands of Nebraska's highest court, and whether it stays law or is overturned is up to those justices. Known as the Let Them Grow Act, it places limitations on transgender care for minors, as well as an 11th hour, 12 week abortion ban. 1011 Samantha Burton has been gathering reaction for us and joins us live tonight in the newsroom. Sam. Earlier today, the Nebraska Supreme Court heard arguments in the case of Planned Parenthood of the Heartland versus Hilgers. And in the coming weeks, the court will decide whether or not the law is constitutional. It's a balancing of purposes, and isn't that all legislation? Today, Supreme Court justices peppered both sides with questions about the constitutionality of LB 574. Questions pertaining to the single subject rule, and if the bill with its amendment should be considered one subject or two. People don't call it uh, the health care bill or the public safety bill or the public health and welfare bill. They say it's a bill about uh, abortion and they say it's a bill about gender affirming care. And that's because it's two things rather than one thing. The American Civil Liberties Union and the ACLU of Nebraska filed a lawsuit on behalf of Planned Parenthood of the Heartland last year claiming the bill violates that rule in the state's constitution. State Senator Ben Hansen, who filed the amendment to the bill, says it deals with one thing. They both have to do with the protection of children. I think in, just in that aspect, they have a lot of common ground. Justices also asked whether or not the state has a position on if an unborn child is a person as used in the constitution. We have not taken a position on that today, and I, we, we don't think that the court needs to reach that decision to apply the single subject rule. The Supreme Court asked if both bills regulate health care professionals and physicians, how they would not be considered a single subject. The legislature itself treated these subjects as separate when it set up LB 574 and LB 626, and it, con it pushed them together only when it was constrained to do so. A decision isn't expected from the Supreme Court for several weeks. Since the case questions if the bill is constitutional, it will require five out of the seven justices to overturn it. Reporting in the newsroom, Samantha Burnt, 1011 News.